What are the most important things to know if you want to adopt a cat? Let's talk about this. Hello, dear cat lovers. Welcome to Kitty Paws, where we all love cats and talk about them. Today's subject, cat adoption. Cat adoption is a serious and very responsible decision. It has major influence on your life, so make sure you are truly ready for this. But how to get ready? First, do some research. You should get awareness about cats' needs before you adopt one. Read or listen a bit about their nature. They have very strong wild roots and their survival instinct determines most of their actions. Second, Think about your money situation. I don't mean that you have to be quite rich to afford a cat, but you might want to know how much expenses cats make. To your home budget, you would add cat's food, litter, veterinary care, and at the beginning, there will be some shopping to do uh, to create uh, a cat's environment to prepare your house for a new family member. Third, Assemble a good layout. When you're sure you can afford this, maybe you plan this for a few months, you can move on to assembling cat's layout. The layout should contain all the necessaries for everyday use. Fourth, start looking for cat. It can be a tricky process, long process, but it's gonna be so worth it. At this point, I would like to invite you to adopt two cats instead of one. It is very beneficial. And here is why. They keep each other entertained and active. Cats are in fact very social and cat company is one of the keys to happy cat. They more easily learn and pick up skills. Cats learn mostly by observation and teach each other how to behave. They keep each other out of trouble. Some people worry that two cats can destroy house twice as much as one cat. But that is so not true. One cat can make some damage in the house when left alone. Uh, it can be sad, bored, maybe frustrated. But two cats keep each other occupied and provide company. They learn about boundaries and take out their play aggression. The best teacher for a cat is another cat, as we mentioned it before. While playing together, cats teach each other boundaries about biting and scratching. I don't know how it works in other countries, so I'm gonna tell you on my example uh, how the searching process looked. When my partner and I decided to adopt cats, after some research and gather knowledge, I was sure I want to find kittens from a foster home. It was very important for me because I knew that these cats will be properly socialized, taught to use a litter box and already friends with each other. So I posted questions on adoption groups on Facebook and just waited for answers. After some talking, we arranged few meetings with cats and their guardians. This brings us to a fifth point, which is how to know which cats are the ones. When you visit cats, pay attention how they act. Ask yourself those questions. Do they play? Do they hide? Do they hiss? Or do they come to you? Also, ask as many questions as you can to the guardian. What litter do they use? How they act together? how they react to other cats, how do they act around people, what do they eat, do they have some medical history, where they were found, what is their story, so on and so forth. And remember, cats should walk into a prepared house with all the necessary items. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and found at least one answer to your questions. See you next week when we are going to talk about assembling a perfect cat's layette. Take care, cat lovers. Cheers!